Welcome to the Department of Computing at the University of the West Indies, Mona. The purpose of this video is to advise you of the offerings of the Department of Computing and to tell you about the courses that you need to take to pursue the different majors. So the Department of Computing has programs in Computer Science, a Bachelor of Arts and a Bachelor of Science, in Information Technology, a Bachelor of Science, in Software Engineering, this is a Software Engineering General, that's a Bachelor of Science. There's the Computer Studies option, um, which combines courses from uh, Computing, Mathematics, and Social Sciences, and you can get the Bachelor of Science. And then there's the Software Engineering Mobile Application Technologies. You can get the Bachelor of Science in that. This is a four-year program where students spend two years at, at the Mona campus and two years in China. Um, programs one through four are all three-year degree programs. Now, in order to, you're about to start a journey, and in order to uh, graduate, <laughs> you're going to have to meet um, certain requirements. Broadly speaking, here are um, the credit requirements uh, for bachelor's degrees in the Faculty of Science and Technology, unless otherwise stated. So you're going to need to have a total of 93 credits by the time you graduate, this is a minimum. Um, of those 93 credits, 24 credits have to be at level one. Level one courses are courses that um, whose course codes begin with a one. And of those 24 credits, 18 must come from within the Faculty of Science and Technology, unless otherwise stated. You're also going to need 60 advanced credits. Advanced credits are credits from levels two and three. And within the 60 credits, you're going to have to satisfy whatever requirements uh, for your program. For example, um, the uh, BSc in Computer Science requires 39 advanced credits in computing. Um, whereas the BSc in Information Technology requires 42 advanced credits um, in computing. Then you're also going to need um, nine credits from foundation courses. Of those nine credits, um, three credits have to come from either FAUN 1014 or FAUN 1019. Then um, you can take FAUN 1301 and FAUN 1101. You can substitute any one of these uh, two courses um, with a foreign language. Um, the details um, for whichever program you pursue are going to be uh, specified in the faculty handbook. Please read it and understand it. You can visit the Faculty of Science and Technology's webpage. The URL is given right here. And then look for handbooks. Um, now, with uh, the exception of the um, SWEN 1,000 courses that are intended for students in the uh, BSc Software Engineering Mobile Application Technologies program, there are only 15 computing credits at level one, uh, which means that to satisfy the in-faculty uh, credit requirement here at level one, you're going to have to take courses from outside of the uh, Department of Computing. A common uh, question um, at level one is which in-faculty courses should you take? Well, you should take courses that align with your CAPE subjects as well as your interests. Um, so, for example, if you have passes in um, biology, um, typically two units, uh, unit one and two, then you are qualified to take um, level one courses in biology, for example. Okay. So what are the courses that we have um, in computing for at level one? Um, we have Comp 1126 and Comp 1127, Introduction to Computing 1 and Introduction to Computing 2. Um, you will have to take these in semester one. Um, Comp 1126 is often in the first six weeks of the semester. Comp 1127 in the last six weeks of the semester. Um, then in the second semester, you will register for Comp 1161. Um, by the way, the prerequisites for Comp 1161 are 1126 and 1127. Prerequisites basically means you have to satisfy those courses uh, before, pass them before you take the um, next course in the sequence. Then we also have Comp 1210, Mathematics for Computing, and Comp 1220, which is Computing and Society. Um, so all of these courses are offered in uh, both semesters one and two, but um, you know, for the first three courses, there is a prescribed sequence that is you know, you take the first two in semester one and then um, 1161 in semester two. Um, 
1210 and 1220 can be taken in either semester. Um, so as um, I mentioned already, 1126 and 1127 are offered um, in the same semester, uh, 1126 in the first six weeks, 1127 the last six weeks. Um, these courses will have a lecture, a tutorial uh, slash discussion, and then a secondary tutorial and a lab. You must register for all of these course activities. Um, a primary tutorial will occur uh, between um, Monday and midday on Wednesday, whereas a secondary tutorial will occur between midday on Wednesday and sometime on Friday. Um, if you are doing uh, both 1126 and 1127 in the same semester, as I expect that you would be doing, then you should register for the same uh, lectures, tutorials, and lab times for both courses. What do I mean by that? So let's say you register for a 1126 lecture um, that's at uh, 12 p.m. on Tuesday and a tutorial that is at 10 a.m. on Monday, for example, and a secondary tutorial um, at you know, 11 a.m. on Thursday and a lab at 8 a.m. on Friday. That's for 1126. For 1127, you make sure that you pick the same slots for your course activities. Now, moving on, um, 1161, as I mentioned, should be taken the second semester. Um, and you can do that right now. You can register for 1161. Um, the system will allow you to do so. Now, at the start of the second semester, we're going to ensure uh, that all students in 1161 have passed, uh, both 1126 and 1127, and a script will be run to uh, deregister students who have not um, passed both courses. So if you have failed uh, the courses at the end of the first semester, which I know that you have, the, um, you should not do, you can do well, you have the uh, capacity to do well. Um, but in that case, um, you will have to retake uh, 1126 uh, or 1127 um, to pass and advance uh, in the program. Um, as I mentioned, COMP 1210 and 1220 should not be uh, should be taken in either semester based on your schedule. Please do not sign up for any advanced um, courses. Advanced courses are levels two or three. You do not qualify for any. Um, you can see this uh, by looking at the prerequisites in the faculty handbook. So what's our suggested uh, sequence uh, for selecting your courses? So let's say you're doing computer science uh, and software engineering, the uh, general software engineering. Then the first semester, you register for 1126 and 1127. Um, you can register for um, 1210 and uh, 1220 or just one of them. And then you can take two uh, electives from the Faculty of Science and Technology. And then the second semester, you can register for 1161 and um, either 1220 or 1210, just depends on what your schedule looks like. And then uh, two uh, more electives from the Faculty of Science and Technology and you know one more elective from anywhere in the university and a foundation course, your first foundation course. Okay, so you take and pass these courses and then you're prepared for um, more advanced uh, material. Um, I should point out that many of the advanced courses in second year require you to have passed 1126, 1127, 1210 and 1161. So it's uh, imperative that you pass those, uh, take and pass those courses in your first year. Um, say you are doing information technology, um, you would take 1126 and 1127 in semester one. You can take either 1210 um, or 1220 as well in semester one. Then um, one, you know, two more elective courses at level one. Um, and then um, in semester two, you take 1161, either 1220 or, uh, um, or 1210 or both in semester two. And then you can take um, three more electives at level one and a foundation course. Um, if for those who are being observant, you would notice that these electives here are um, from anywhere in the university as long as they're level one courses. Why? Because for the uh, BSc Information Technology program, we only require that students have 15 in faculty credits. That's the only program that has this um, exception. 
So your electives can come from anywhere in the uh, university, as long as they're level one courses. If you're doing the computer studies option, uh, to pursue the computer studies option, uh, you're going to need um, you know, the entry requirements for computing, as well as uh, the entry requirements for mathematics, because you have to take um, math courses. The entry requirements for math, by the way, are uh, passes in um, Cape mathematics, pure mathematics, that is. So you need um, in semester one, you would have to take Comp 1126, 1127, uh, Math 1141, Math 1142, um, Econ 1000, and either uh, Sociology 1002 or Accounts 1005. And then in semester two, you take 1161, Comp 1220, um, Math 1151, uh, Math 1152, and then Econ 1012. Um, and then um, either Psychology 1002 or Accounts 1003. Finally, um, we talk about the uh, Software Engineering Mobile Application Technologies Program. Um, so this program, I should point out, has a very different fee structure from the other programs that I've presented uh, so far. It costs approximately $10,000 US dollars per year. Um, so in the first semester, we will expect that you take 1126 and 1127. 1210 and COMP 1210 and COMP 1220 and SWEN 1006. And in the second semester, we expect you take COMP 1161 and then um, all of these software engineering courses, SWEN 1003, SWEN 1005, SWEN 1007, and SWEN 1008. So what are your next steps? Well, having watched this video, you should go and prepare a degree plan, particularly for your first year. Uh, if you have some questions, um, you can talk to an academic advisor, email an academic advisor, then register for your courses. Um, if um, you are pending, um, have CAPE results pending, you may have to request an override to be uh, admitted into 1126 and 1127. Now, just to give you a preview, as I mentioned, this is a, you're at the start of a journey. So just to give you a preview of what the rest of the program might look like for different majors, Say you're studying um, computer science, you know, so you take 1126, 1127, 116, 112, 10, and 1220 at the first year. If you're going to study computer science, you would take uh, Comp 2201, that's discrete math, uh, Comp 2211, um, analysis of algorithms, Comp 2171, uh, that's um, object technology, uh, Comp 2140, software engineering, Comp 2190, that's net centric computing, and Comp 2340, which is computer architecture and organization. That's for computer science. Um, and by the way, these are just the core courses. You would have to take some elective courses as well. And then in the third year, you're going to take uh, Comp 3101, uh, operating systems, Comp 3220 for artificial intelligence, um, Comp 3161, uh, database uh, systems, and Comp 3901, which is the group project course. If, on the other hand, you are studying um, information technology, then you would um, have to take Comp 2140, Comp 2190, Comp 2340, as well as Info 2100, which is um, math and statistics for IT, Info 2110, data structures, and um, Info 2180, which is web programming one. And then at the third year, you're going to take Info um, 3105, Info 3110, Info 3155, Info 3170, Info 3180, as well as the date-based course and the group project course. If you are studying software engineering, uh, this is a software engineering general, um, at the um, second year, you're going to take COMP 2140, COMP 2170, COMP 2190, COMP 2201, COMP 2211, and um, you, you're going to have to take SWEN 2165. Uh, and then um, at the third year, you notice there is no overlap actually between software engineering and uh, computer science. You're going to have to take um, SWEN 3130, SWEN 3145, SWEN 3185, SWEN 3920, and COMP 3911, which is an internship course. Now, some of you may have begun to register, and so you may have seen some registration errors. Uh, some common ones would include uh, the prerequisite and test score error. 
This would basically indicate that you don't have all the prerequisites for a given course. So for example, the university does not have records of passes in both units of a Cape Science subject. Um, Cape Science subjects, by the way, include um, biology, chemistry, physics, uh, computer science, and pure mathematics. Okay? Um, information technology is not a Cape Science, for example. Um, and neither is environmental science. Um, or you may see a program restriction error. This indicates that you are attempting to register for a course that is restricted to students in a given program. So for example, the SWEN 1000 courses are only uh, available to students who are in the software engineering mobile application technologies program. Or you may see a campus restriction error, which indicates that you're attempting to take a course that is not available at your campus. Finally, you may see a link course required error, which indicates that you have not selected all the parts of a course for registration. So for example, with 1126, you haven't selected the lecture, the tutorial slash discussion, the secondary tutorial, and the lab. So if you're missing one of those components, you're going to get a linked course required error. Or you may see a maximum hours exceeded error, which indicates that you have exceeded the maximum number of credits for a given semester. We would expect if you're a full-time student that you are taking between 15 and 18 credits per semester. Um, if you try to exceed those limits, then um, the system will uh, give you one of these errors. Now, if you have any questions, um, you can reach out to um, either uh, me, uh, Dr. Daniel Fulcom. My email is over here. Or you can reach out to Dr. Paul Gaynor, whose email address is over here. First name, last name at uemona.edu.jm. Thank you.